And meanwhile, a tourist in South Korea says she thought a soldier crossing the border was some kind of stunt. According to AP News, the woman says she saw Travis King, who was in civilian clothes, sprint for the border and disappear. Joining us now is Andrew Cherkasky, a former federal prosecutor and former United States Air Force JAG. Andrew, thank you so much for being here. Let's dive right in. Uh, what kind of charges is this soldier looking at right now? Well, the most obvious is going to be a desertion charge. Uh, but what I, I think we have to look at bigger picture is that this soldier had been in trouble with the South Koreans. He had been there uh, seemingly on official duty and then kind of being out in, on the town in Seoul, he got into a series of fights or other sort of uh, mischief with, with locals. He ended up spending about six weeks in South Korean jail before he was about to be returned to Texas to his unit at Fort Bliss, where he could have faced things such as discharge from the military, but also could have ch uh, faced more serious UCMJ action that could have had him even seeing time within uh, military confinement type uh, scenarios. Absolutely. So how do you think his previous charges play in here? Well, the charges that he was facing in, in South Korea and that he had essentially dealt with uh, would have naturally uh, carried over into the military. So the military uh, generally in these cases, and I defend uh, military members all around the world every day, um, what happens is the military will receive essentially the case from the, the local government, and then they will create their own charges from that. So there's not a double jeopardy prohibition there. So the military could very well have brought uh, military justice action against him for the crimes that he had allegedly committed in South Korea, such as the allegations of assault and whatnot. But now he's made it so much worse because it appears he has uh, darted uh, across that border seemingly to flee the uh, his service to the United States military military and to flee the jurisdiction of both South Korea and the U.S. So that's a desertion charge in the military and it carries very serious punishment. So it's my understanding that you have experience with service members in that area. What can you tell us about them? Well, I, I think one thing that people have to be aware of is that any time a military member faces criminal allegations, it is a very stressful th uh, thing to go through. It's, in fact, one of the leading causes of suicide within the military is that people are facing uh, military justice action. When you put somebody in the military overseas, especially a young person, it adds to those stressors. And so these situations where people get themselves into trouble, uh, who happen to be in the military in a foreign land, uh, we can see those people at often um, go through just a, a tremendous amount of stress and pressure. And I think that that's uh, obvious here that this uh, young man didn't want anything to do with the military anymore. And he went through to this extreme measure to cross the border. I've seen so many cases where people have ended their lives under the same sort of stress. So it's a very unfortunate circumstance uh, and situation. There has to be justice brought to these cases, but we also have to be compassionate for the stress that, that these young people are going through. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.